Good morning, friends, and welcome to your passport message. I'm Jenny Nesbitt, and I'm the Director of Christian Formation here at St. Paul's. And I'm looking forward to meeting you if I haven't met you yet. But I hope that you enjoy this Passport to Wonder message. It goes along with what Pastor Ralph is speaking about today, which is found in Genesis chapter 18, verses 1 through 15. So we're going to start by first reading the scripture, and then after the scripture, we'll go ahead and chat about it a little bit, okay? All right, I'm going to read to you out of our Spark Bible that our kids in Sunday school use. It says, The Lord appeared to Abraham by the oaks of Mamre, as he sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. Can you relate? It's been really hot here, hasn't it? He looked up and saw three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent entrance to meet them and bowed down to the ground. He said, My Lord, if I find favor with you, do not pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree. Let me bring a little bread that you may refresh yourself and after that you may pass on since you have come to your servant. So they said, do as I have said, and Abraham hastened into the tent to Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of choice flour, knead it and make cakes. Abraham ran to the herd and took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to the servant, who hastened to prepare it. Then he took curds and milk and the calf that he had prepared and set it before them. He stood by them under the tree while they ate. They said to him, where's your wife, Sarah? And he said, they're in the tent. Then one said, I will surely return in due season and your wife, Sarah, shall have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent entrance behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, advanced in age. It had ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. So Sarah laughed to herself saying, after I have grown old and my husband is old. Shall I have pleasure? The Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh and say, shall I indeed bear a child now that I'm old? Is anything too wonderful for the Lord? At the set time, I will return to you in due season and Sarah shall have a son. But Sarah denied saying, I did not laugh for she was afraid. He said, oh yes, you did laugh. So Sarah was laughing and saying, I can't have a baby, I'm too old. But what God is saying is that, are you not gonna trust me? So for God, all things are possible. And that's kind of what our message is about. So we kind of work backwards too to our message last week where we were talking about hospitality. Did Abraham and Sarah show God hospitality? They sure did, didn't they? They brought out a whole meal and prepared it for him. And God says, everything is possible for me to do. And that's our exciting and encouraging message. So we can take time and we can pray to God for whatever it is, even sometimes if it seems kind of crazy. God is capable of everything. Now, today before you go, will you say a prayer with me? Let's grab a little piece of heaven and bring it close to our heart. God, thank you for sharing your word with us. Thank you for putting right there in words that all things are possible through you. It's good that we have that reminder. God, we ask that you be with us in the next week, that you show us ways that we can stretch ourselves and be kind to others. We pray all of these things in your name. Amen. Thanks so much, friends, for joining me today. The next part, you will have some activities that you can do. I can't wait to see you soon. Bye-bye.
Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Of great joy. Of great joy. Of great joy. Of great joy. For all people. I'm here to For all people. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Now let's get to work.